Hello again, I'm Teresa Garcia, also known as Amehana Arashi, and I have a short story I eventually hope to get to read for you, but before that, this video is going to be the February poems, because I don't know how much quiet time I will get to have. This first poem for the month of February is called Buru 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 When the wind runs fingers of dancing ice up your spine and curls form in your wine which once was so fine Buru 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 When footsteps fall on the floor and walk thence up the stair past your bed and out to the air, while you sit and stare. Buru buru, buru buru. Stand at the end of the town, where the wood reclaims the land, and on your shoulder feel the hand or the breath of an invisible man. Buru buru, buru buru. On the ancient battlefield they walk and they wait, feeding on your fear given by fate, through your personal gate. Buru buru, buru buru. When you walk in the cave, or traipse in the moonless night, whether forest or street, no light, either from the lows or the heights, buru buru, buru buru. When you think it is time to ask the question, present the ring, a hand in the belly makes the bowel sing, when loved one's eyes gleam, buru buru. Buru buru. They are there with you, in the deeps of your mind, waiting to feed. You are so kind, in the thread of fear, bind. Buru buru, buru buru. Bind up your heart and soul, and the eyes that wait and smirk, up from the depths and through the murk, that only the fearful shirk. Buru buru, buru buru. Now, before moving on to the next poem, the buru buru is a type of Japanese yokai that was often encountered on the battlefields and considered the spirit of cowardice. But, of course, there is more than one form of cowardice, and so more than one way for them to feed. This next poem is called and the water rose the rain came down through day and night with wind and fingers pressing tight to caress the flesh of land and stream and the waters rose within their dream pulling and chipping at frozen snow sweeping mud sand and fence though watching humans would rather not but still more the waters sought as the clouds plodded heavy by Dropping their watery load with a sigh, T'was much needed by the ground, For so long, though now it was found, To be a bit much for hidden crevices, And other one's thirsty spaces. And yet still the waters swiftly rose, The creek singing his joys and woes, Around the bend and through the fen, To the reservoir he danced again, Presenting his bride with many gifts, Though now she has to put them in drifts. And that poem was based on the flood that took out the fence, that left a bunch of debris about, that washed out the roadsides, and did a bunch of other interesting damage about the town and place. And those were the poems for the month of February. February did not get as many poems as there was not quite as much involvement or as much support, and February was rather busy anyway, so that worked out. There were, however, quite a few drawings, which will not be shown. 